You was going to be the hip-hop police comedian? Yeah, I was trying to, like, like tell you know, jokes and shit. I, I was going to infiltrate and, you know what I'm saying, take down some of these rappers because, I, you know, these niggas wouldn't let me sell dope with them and whatnot. So I was like, okay, I'll show you. God damn, homie. Oh, hey, hey, you're my nuts, man. What got your ass now, man? Huh? Man, we ain't did nothing. What the fuck is going on? You look like one of them crips. Or is you a blood? Hey, yo, this is the one and only R.A., the rugged man, and you're watching This Is 50.com. Legends never die. That's right, they get abortions. Dangerous. Dangerous. Death by suicide bomb, Protestants, Bibles, or Quran or Islam. From Genghis Khan to Vietnam, I can smell the napalm. Rape victims, rip stockings, redneck clan members doing church bombings. Innocent fetuses being aborted with no options. Humans, government, ruin them. Wondering what weapons could be used to be nuking them. Jew Jesus was crucified in Jerusalem. Slaves treated like property to Pearl Harbor, to Hiroshima, to Nagasaki, Adolf Hitler, to every murderous Nazi, to the Gambinos, to the Gaudis, to every mafia atrocity. Child pornographies, babies starving and dying in poverty. Serbians fighting for in Yugoslavia, Muslim women being raped up to 40,000 in the war in Bosnia, 50 million killed in the Second World War, government f poisoning the minds and the bodies of the babies that are poor, poor, airplanes blown up by Islamic extremists, and religion is always drama, whether worshiping the prophet of Muhammad or Jesus, smallpox and Napoleon troops dying from typhus, to the Spanish flu, to the Black Plague, today it's the AIDS virus, bodies in coffins, political extortions, racist mobs murdering Willie Turks, Michael Griffith, and Yusuf Hawkins, check the murder rate, is it human nature, the murder and Hate. Catholic Church claim women were witches and burn them at the stake. You know what I mean? <laughs> R.A. the Rugged Man. man how, first off, how you get the name R.A. the Rugged Man? Oh man, I was I was a kid in Long Island, and uh, I had a demo tape, and my rap name was R.A. But I had a song called The Rugged Man, and uh, I sent the tape over to the labels, and everybody liked the song The Rugged Man. So when I call a label, I'd be like, Yo, this is R.A. And they're like, Who? I'm like, R.A. And I'm like, Wait, wait is this guy with the Rugged Man? Is this the Rugged Man? I'm like, Yeah, R.A. the Rugged Man. And it just kept fucking happening. I got stuck with the fucking name R.A. the Rugged Man. That's a dope ass name, though. <laughs> Sound like some, yeah, you know, some '90s superhero shit. You know? No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like some 2000. You know what I'm saying? Shit going on right now, dog. 2013. Well, I, you entered the matrix. My shit is new school always. Like I'm 2020, 2030. I'm just saying, R.A. the Rugged Man sounds a little. Old school, you know, but I, I, I like it. I, I like no, it. MC the Rugged Man sounds a little <laughs> old school. MC yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, DJ R.A. the Rugged Man sounds a little old school. Well, you know what my name when I was 14? Master Money R.A. That's old school. Now, nah, that's old school. <laughs> you, anything with master in master front of that. Master Money, yeah. yes. Word to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you still talk like you're in the 80s? Because my therapist said it was my decade, and I'm sure enough never leaving. Man, first time I'm seeing you, though, is when you was like, you know what I'm saying, checking uh, Floyd Mayweather and whatnot. You were saying he wasn't fighting nobody and whatnot. A couple years ago on the internet, it was a real viral thing. Yeah, because well, I was on the radio I and they asked me, what do you think about Floyd? I said, yo, Floyd is an uh, amazing, exceptional fighter, except sometimes he doesn't, he doesn't challenge himself, and I don't like that. And apparently, I guess uh, you said 50 was there or whatever, but uh, Floyd was listening and somebody was listening and said, hey, Floyd, call this dude. So they ended up calling me. And we got in this long, like, 20, 22-minute argument. And, and the dude, you know, and I'm disrespecting him. He's disrespecting me. And he just stayed on the phone. And I'm like, why is he staying on the phone even? But we went at it. Do what I do. Do what I do. do what, why? Do what I'm I do. I'm Brian Kenny. You can't talk to me like a little bitch like I'm Brian Kenny. Like, Brian, you're listening to me because I'm the fighter and you ain't shit. Because, motherfucker, I know the history. I know the history of the sport. Guess what? If I say you a bitch, I'm going to talk to you like a bitch. Did you ever have aspirations of being a boxer yourself? Before yeah, you when I was a kid. When I was a kid, when I was uh, seven, or not, when I was eight years old, I used to go to the gym and, and, and uh, coach Murphy out in Long Island. And uh, I was going to go to the kid gloves and fight in the city and all of that stuff. But then I got, I ended up uh, having a bleeding ulcer. I was shitting and pissing blood all over the school. And uh, <laughs> my mother said... No, son, you know, if you get punched in the stomach, I said, no, it has, they said it's stress. It has nothing to do with if, <laughs> if I get punched in my stomach, I won't shit blood. <laughs> so she stopped paying for my gym. So then, you know, now uh, let's slap box. Now, like, I'll slap box you, I'll slap box. I love slap anybody, boxing, you know. But, anybody, you but, slap boxing <laughs> champion of the world. But I never Five got time. to get into kid gloves, man. I, I never <laughs> Yo, this the whole story, the whole truth is retarded Here's how my whole bullshit career started Back in 88, it was about battle rapping And shooting guns off and house parties I started getting record deals while I was still in high school I was, I was the fuck out of here? Yeah, yeah so Like I'm, Fresh Friends? I guess so, but uh, uh, 
I was like 17, and you know, I got a little offer from Warner Brothers, and it was it was wasn't for enough money. I didn't take it. And what, what was the kind of money back then they offered you? Well, it was decent money. For, for, it was like 30k, but you'd have to record the whole album with it, and it was like, uh, uh, it was a you know, nine album deal where you suck <laughs> stuck to them forever for right. 30 30 grand and all this stuff. So <laughs> what happened is. I, I negotiated my situation, and, and by the time I was 18, I had a, a bid and war, and, and, and it finally, when I went to Jive, with the publishing deal and everything included, it was like 340 grand, and, and for six albums, it would have been like 1.8 million or something like that. So wow. So when, when, when I when I declined taking the 30 grand in high school, the, my lawyer was pissed at me, like, yo, you're in high school, you'll never get a record deal again. I got out of high school and got the $1.8 million deal. And, uh, you know, I said, I suck my dick. You know, I know what I'm doing, you know. And so you, you start running with um, Biggie Small. Yeah, I met Biggie uh, uh, at the studio, because at the time in New York City, everybody would call, you know, they, nobody had house studios and shit. If right. you, you go to the studios, and I used to carry around this big boom box and had my tape in it. It was like, yo, I'm the best rapper. You know, eh, who the fuck is that in the tape player? I played the tape. Oh, wow, that kid's incredible. So, uh, I met Biggie at one session. He was up and coming. I was up and coming, and we just became cool. And uh, just this is up and coming, Big. Yeah, up and coming, Big. Yeah. Wow, Nobody wow. Nobody knew. I had no clue that this is gonna be like the iconic, notorious Big. I just, did, you know, you know, Big Heavy said, dude from Brooklyn, he could rhyme. I could rhyme. We go in the car, play each other songs. Like, yo, check out this song I'm working on. Yeah, check out this song. Like when he blew up. You know, I, I, you know, it was my man, but I was, I wanted to blow up. I was, je I was jealous. Everybody was blowing up around me, and I had, uh, at the time, uh, became a real controversial figure and, and got in trouble, lawsuits and sexual harassment, and you know, women were writing letters to my label, saying, "Oh, we're scared to be in the elevator with them. You know, don't let them in the building." And I was banned from my own record label building, and so everybody else knew how to act a little better than me. So. Everybody I seen on the come up all of a sudden started becoming superstars. You know, the Mob Deeps, the Biggies. The Did you really uh, sexually harass that girl, man? What you said to her, dog? I sexually harassed a lot of women at that time. But, the, 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 <laughs> but that particular incident, I was innocent. So, Legends Never Die, let's get back on that right there, man. The new album comes out April 30th, and, and it's probably some of the best work in my entire career. I'm so fucking happy with the album. So we got 18 songs on it. There's five features and... Uh, uh, 12, 12, 13 uh, solo joints. Is there anything you want to tell the people before we get up out your dog? Yeah, Legends Never Die is in stores April 30th. If, if this comes out after April 30th, go pick it up. It's in the stores. And, well, it's uh, definitely going to come out after April 30th. Legends Never Die in stores right now. Go get that shit <laughs> right now. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Already the rugged man. We over and we out of here, man. Hey, do I have something in my eye? Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth. <laughs> Dangerous, 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 dangerous